In the tech industry, after a few years of experience, you're no longer considered entry level. Welcome to mid-level, where the challenges and responsibilities start to grow. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew and I'm a mid-level software engineer working in Silicon Valley for a few years now and in this video, I'm going to take you through a typical day in my life as a mid-level software engineer and along the way share the realities that I face as a mid-level engineer and reveal how I tackle the increased responsibilities that come with it. As a mid-level software engineer, having a morning routine is really important to me. That is because it gets the day started for me and I can do something for myself before I start doing work for others. During this time, I can work towards my different goals. And so for example, I'm bulking at the moment and so I've been prioritizing my workouts in the morning. And I also take time like right now to plan my personal projects and just get stuff done. And so I highly recommend everyone to take time in the morning for themselves, to work on themselves and progress on your goals before you start work for the day. So I just finished creating a script that parses through a file and gets the information that I need to help in my development. And as a mid-level engineer, I found myself using and creating more scripts and tools to help streamline my work. It's important for me to create and use these tools because it helps aid in my development and it just helps me increase my productivity and move quicker and work more efficiently. And so I recommend, you know, finding ways to help streamline your work. It can be something as little as, you know, setting reminders for yourself to send messages and emails. And that ultimately helps your workflow and makes your life a little bit easier. And by the way, what you've been watching this entire time has been through a new lens filter that I got. It's a walking away white mist soft filter and it's a simple lens filter that you attach onto your camera lens and it seems to add a more hazy, dreamy and soft effect to your footage. And so I just wanted to give it a shot and see how it looks like and let me know what you guys think of it.
few years of experience under my belt, I hold a bigger responsibility in different ways. Some of these include making sure I write robust code that's less error prone, reviewing my team's code to make sure that their code is robust as well, and taking time to understand new architecture and resolving all the unknowns that we have regarding what we're trying to build. But for me to stay focused to do these different activities, I found that time blocking myself to do deep technical work has helped me stay focused and get stuff done. And with these time blocks, it sets the stage for me to give my undivided attention to these different activities, whether it's reviewing other people's code or making sure that I'm starting to make progress on my development. And it ultimately gives me time to stay focused and get stuff done and not get distracted by my phone or things around the house. Oh, and by the way, to not get distracted by my phone, I set my phone's color filter to grayscale. And what it does is it turns all the colors on my phone to shades of gray. And because of the lack of color that it shows, it makes it less appealing to the eyes and helps me stay off my phone. And I actually program my phone to turn to grayscale with a triple click on the side. And so as you can see, if I click it three times, it turns to grayscale filter. And for me, this indicates that I should stay focused and get some work done. Take me to you. 